Hi everyone, welcome to Take a Walk with Me and Garden Update. Look at these y'all, they're going crazy. I keep having to top them, I'm at the maximum height now of the light. So they'll just have to turn bushy. Of course over here on the left is basil, there's the thyme, and this is the parsley over here. I've got a bunch of it drying over here, and I've got already a bunch in a, in a bottle that's already dried. Uh, it's fantastic, y'all. I just thought I'd uh, let y'all see how good it's doing. And uh, I would highly recommend one of these if you'd like to grow some vegetables or, or uh, herbs in the wintertime, or, well, any time, you know. Uh, it's really neat. I really enjoy it. It'll let me be able to grow something in the dead of winter still. <laughs> that, you know, I, can, I just like growing stuff, you know, so. It bothers me in the winter when I can't, <laughs> after my fall garden dies finally. So I'll go outside here, and I just thought I'd let y'all see the arrow garden, what it's looking like today. And it's doing great, so see you in a minute. All right, looks a little overcast out today. Today's Friday, October 9th. Current temperature is 57. High today, 76. That'll be comfortable. Rain chance, 30%. Humidity is at 87%. There's no wind and the air quality is 25. It's in the good range. So. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. Um, what am I going to do today? Well, first of all, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? We're either going to have hamburger patties, just like a hamburger steak, or cheeseburgers. So, it's hamburger patties one way or another. <clears throat> I don't know which yet. We got some nice hamburger buns in there we need to use. I've been putting, especially in the summer, I put put stuff like that in the fridge because when it's so humid and stuff, they get like little mold spots on them. You have to throw them away. So I put them in the fridge. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna have. I don't know what, depending on like if we have the, the patties, like a hamburger steak, we'll probably have some like mashed potatoes with it. And I don't know if we got any salad left or not, but that'd be nice. We've been having a lot of eating a lot of salad. We all need to eat more vegetables, and it's good for Logan um, trying to lose some weight. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we would have something like that. Or, but if we had, you know, like cheeseburgers, I'd probably fix some fries or tater tots or something like that. I'll be doing a jib jab today, a Halloween jib jab sometime today. They got some really great ones, so I, I, I know it's early, but I mean, I they got so many of them, I hate to, you know, I, I pay for that app, so I mean, I like to get a little bit out of it. I, I don't make anything off those, by the way. Uh, they don't allow uh, commercials on jib jab, so I just do it for y'all, you know, and it's, it's fun. And I've been putting a few of y'all in it, if you notice. I had Diane Clark in it, Diane Parker, Joe Pachelik, uh, Joy Tucker, uh, Kim from Kim Loves Artie. I had uh, Sassy T in there, Teresa. Uh, forgive me if I missed anybody. I, I think I've got them all that I've had on them so far. So uh, if you want to be in one, uh, just send me a picture. Uh, email is probably the best way. Or if you're, with, if you're with me on Messenger, just send me like it would be like your pro, uh, profile picture type thing, just from the front, you know, so I can uh, do it on the... I have to do things to it to make it be able to talk and stuff like that. But uh, send me one. We'll get you in one of them. Uh, it's fun. So... Uh, 
So I'll have one of those today and probably every other day or every day I'll have at least one. Because they got a bunch of them and then they got a bunch of shorter ones too. And they're all really funny. Uh, unless something happens, I'll be doing a Kitty's Corner today. Uh, same thing with Kitty's Corner. If you've got a pet, you know, and you would like to see it on Kitty's Corner, I need a, a, a frontal shot of it with its mouth closed. Because I can't, when the mouth's open, I can't do anything with it. But if you want to send me one of those to email a messenger, if uh, I just got some today, uh, oh gosh, Callie, I didn't write your name down, Callie Life, um, hold on a minute, it's Callie Life on the fly, I believe is what she said, uh, oh, she sent me some, and y'all check out her channel, I just subscribed to her, and, uh, she she sent some pictures of uh she has three cats um, you know of course if you send me more than one it'll t it might take me a while to get to uh, to to more than one so just be patient if you don't see yours on right away or or whatever but uh yeah kitty doesn't mind having guests so she likes all her new friends and everything and I think that's about it that I had to trying to think I don't think I oh I think we I haven't checked yet but we were still short a few uh, the, the questions have been coming in kind of slow for ask my tablet so y'all that really like the, to watch it send me some questions in please so we can have another show I still think let's see I got like five yesterday I, had, I think we still lack something like six or seven uh, to have enough to do the show. So, it's quiet out. Birds aren't out doing anything really. I see one cardinal. Female, looks like a female out there right now. Everybody looks good in here this morning. My meemaw plant back there looks good. No digging this morning, don't look like. Nope. I did thin some more yesterday. That one's not going to fly off. I did some more yesterday. Thinning and pulling up these little things that weren't supposed to be here. I got most of it done now. I don't know how much you can tell. I still got a little bit to go down through here. It's kind of tedious. Um, I'm not seeing many more onions. Those, those aren't that great, I don't guess. Either it takes a long time for them to come up, either one. They look kind of wimpy too. Of course everything does when it's little but I did quite a bit in this part yesterday you can tell they're thinned out especially over here and here still got some more to do but I meant to get these right here Um, I got two big old peppers back there yesterday. There's another big one. And uh, we had a nice salad last night. And I got some banana peppers too. I need some more banana peppers to grow here. There's some down through there. Yeah, there's several. Down in there. Right in there. These leaves, some of them are having a hard time. There's more. There's more flowers too. These pinstripes are starting to grow. I hope the plant doesn't die off from the <coughs> cooler weather. 
And I got most of this in pretty good shape. I think it's all pretty well. You can see a little bit more coming up through there now. The radishes look really good. I need to fix this one right here. Gotta keep dirt up against them. There we go. Let me back out of here. I've got, yeah, I've got this in pretty good shape. I might have to thin a little bit more as these turnips get bigger right here. But I got pretty much room between them, but they'll get pretty big. I don't know if that'll be enough or not. I'll have to tell as they get bigger. I may have to thin a little bit more. But it's coming along. I mean, it's a slow process, that's for sure. You know, so. Look at all the my lord look at all the peppers that's going to be on this thing y'all all these little bitty places will be peppers all of them oh my goodness that's going to be beautiful i don't even remember what one it is it's either tabasco i think it's tabasco i'm pretty sure peppers oh getting decent amount of jalapenos and stuff I think these are yeah that one looks pretty nice I got one yesterday and it was supposed to be in Logan's salad but it didn't get in there there's several growing back there too I can't remember which this is but it's going to have something on it soon it's uh might be a banana pepper, I'm not for sure. That looks too round. Kind of round to be a banana pepper though. That one's looking a little bit better back there. It's lanky, but it's looking a little better on the top there. This one looks very good. Tomato. Is there any digging going on? A little bit. Right over there behind the sign. Little plaque thing. But everybody's looking pretty good over here. Look at all the fl uh, flowers now on this one. Yeah. This tomato plant looks better. All right, everybody. This one don't look so good. I don't know what's up with it. I'm going to have to give them another round of Miracle Girl, I guess. You just can't do that too close together. I think I've got some ants in here see how that looks right there that's how it looks when they dig down in there i don't see any wandering around though right now and they might be down in there okay well that looks like a turnip like we said i guess i don't know if there's anything growing down underneath it yet or not i hate to dig down nope Nothing growing in there yet. Uh, collards look good. Mustard greens are looking good. These have got some nice peppers on them. That one's getting turning right there a little. This little tomato plant, uh, it's okay. It's just not doing much. Thai peppers look good. This one, I don't know, it's not doing much either. It's got a couple of peppers on it, but it's just not. This one's starting to come around here. It's got something on it. This one looks a little rough too, but these are the last two I transplanted over here. I mean, the last few ones I transplanted was right in here, these two. This one and this one's been here for a while. That tomato's looking a little bit better, and this one's looking a little bit better. They're just slow growing for some reason. More, we got more flowers blooming out here. They're beautiful. Oh, look at 
that, y'all. Look at these bees. They do love these. I like when I get pictures of the bees when they're flying, when they start to fly off. I knew these would be nice when they came out. I can't believe how tall they are. It looks like you're gonna have, see those are the white ones right there, which is a very similar plant. It looks like it's the same plant to me. There's white and then the violet. You can see all the bees flying around. There's a lot of them, look at that. They, they absolutely love those flowers, y'all. That's on them. But I think what's gonna be cool is this first stump flower, the original one is gonna, it looks like it's gonna have white blooms on it. And the uh, one out here is has, gonna have the violet colored ones. Yeah, yeah, they're white. That one grew through the thing here. I wanted that up like that. Oops. There's some crows squabbling over here. Yep, white, awesome. So we got purple, violet over there and white over here. I got a nice bloom in here too. Very nice. These are looking great. Oh, there's this one that was here the other day. It's bloomed now. That's beautiful. It's kind of peaceful out here today. I hear a squirrel over there. You hear that noise? That's how a baby sounds when it's mother's. Once it's mother or something. Must be hungry or something. We've had a bunch of baby squirrels here lately. Some little ones out here.
This might be a good day for doing a few things out here since the sun's not out. It still got pretty warm yesterday. Leaves are starting to change over there. Speaking of being hungry, I'm hungry. Had breakfast yet. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's walk. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you later on doing something. Bye, everyone. God bless.